Hello everybody, my name is Joshua Deniji and I'm going to be creating a series of video starting with this about music, what you need to know about music, important things you need to know. Please if you have not subscribed, make sure you click the subscribe button as I'll be posting videos on how to sing parts with a keyboard, how to know your parts, how to know which octave, which level, how high or how low you should sing, depending on your kind of persons, I'll be posting videos on that. So make sure you like and subscribe this, um, subscribe to this video, to my YouTube channel. So as we proceed, in this video I'll just give you little tips, some things that you need to know, because most people don't really know this. They feel is until they go to a music school or music is expensive, it's hard. It's not that hard. It's very simple. It's very simple. All you need to do is these few things that I'm going to tell you. Yes, music is vast. I don't want to know everything, but very few people know this thing. Especially the professionals, they know this. And it's be good if you have this knowledge too. Now, number one, I'm going to say, if you must be a very good musician, if you want to really go into music, you really have passion for music, you, you want to strain your voice, you want to sing, you have to have something to accompany it. And by that... I mean, you have to know how to play an instrument, at the very least, an instrument. I'll suggest the keyboard because it's actually the best instrument when it comes to sounds, when it comes to the software notations and everything, you can easily understand, understand all that. When you know the keyboard, you know how to follow progressions and all those things. But I'll suggest any kind of instrument is good at all because music is music. You just have to know at least one to as many instruments as you can if you know that your knowledge of the music instruments will further boost your knowledge on music generally it's not most you have to know how to write music but it's actually very good if you know how to write music another advice i'll be giving is most youtube videos you see they will always tell you that you should do this voice training 10 times a month and you see so so progress do this kind of voice training do this kind of voice training at least two times a day. Everything is actually correct. But the most easiest and the fun way to actually boost your voice is to sing every day. Yes, as simple as it sounds. All you need to do is to just play your favorite song and try and sing exactly the way it's being sung, irrespective of the key they are singing on. Just try your best to sing. Just be singing every day. Every day. Do it. You can do it. When you are singing, instead of doing Do Re Mi Fa So La Ti Do All those kind of voice training. Sing something you love. Holy are you love. Sing something you love. You can just sing a song. Just be singing it consistently. Try and sing it. And when you are singing the song, don't just sing it. But notice the riffs and runs. For example, all those, all those little little styles, all this stuff, all the pitching, all those things. Just try to pick out all those things and add add them to a different music, or try and form a song. You understand? Sing. No, now I'm going to tell you the difference between a professional musician and just an average musician or an upcoming musician. Is the ability to listen, to hear a sound, and reproduce exactly that same sound. That is all. All you need to do is to hear that sound and produce exactly that, that same sound. What if you can get that? If you can hear a sound and produce exactly that same sound, then the gap has been closed. You, then you are moving at a lightning speed. You are going so fast to become a professional musician. To hear a sound and produce that same sound. Now that will be your first step. That's what, the reason, another reason why I say you should get an instrument is that when you have an instrument, it's, for example, the keyboard, it helps you. If you hear a sound, you can actually reproduce that sound and at the same time be able to locate the sound and actually say which key, which note, on what octave that sound has been produced. So little, little things like that. All you need to do is just boost your listening capacity, listen to song. Don't just listen to the lyrics of the song and listen to even the melody and of the song. The lyrics and the melody are in sync, but they are two different things. If you can get that, then I'm assuring you 
you are on your way. You are on your way. You are on your way to great levels in music. These are just basics for beginners. You understand? As time goes on, in my next video, I'm going to be using the keyboard. And I'm going to be showing you the three major parts on the keyboard and how you can get that three major parts on, on the keyboard. If you can get and understand my next video, I'm telling you, you will get knowledge on playing the keyboard and you'll be able to sing almost any part. Almost any part, I repeat. If you can learn what I'm going to show you in my next video, you can sing in almost any part. You understand? With sufficient training. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please remember to subscribe so that I can get notification on my next video. It's very important. This is a foundational video. The next one is going to be key. So please just click the subscribe button and make sure, comment if there's anything you're not clear about or something I did not really expatiate on. You can just comment about it and I'm going to give you a reply in a very, very short time. Thank you very much.